So if you didn't already know, a little while back, I started up a Facebook group for screen printers, people doing vinyl, all that kind of stuff. The group is called Rogue Printers, and let me tell you, it has been absolutely incredible seeing the people interact on there and seeing it grow and just watching it turn into a super healthy community of printers helping printers. Well, pretty much since day one, everybody in there has been asking me for some kind of a cool graphic that they can use to print on some shirts. And I actually noticed a recurring theme among people starting up with screen printing, just getting into the swing of things, is that they're having a hard time finding nice vector graphics that they can use to practice with. I mean, yeah, there are a ton of free vector sites out there with all kinds of stuff on them. You can find them with a quick Google search, no problem. But a lot of the time that stuff is either not print ready or just, it just kind of sucks, let's be honest. So I got together with Dan and of course he jumped on board with this project right away and we decided to cook up some kind of a cool logo for the print group itself. But rather than making this thing for the print group only, I figured why not give it to everybody since beginners looking for good graphics to print is such a common thing. So that's exactly what we're doing here today. First, I gotta say, Dan killed it on this thing for you guys, as he always does. We wanted to kind of keep our Rogue Lab branding somewhat relative to this design, and he nailed that perfectly. I took it from there and made regular and inverted versions of this thing so that you could print it on light and dark stuff, because believe me, it does make a difference. Some designs just do not work one way or the other. And of course, with those beginners in mind, I made one and two color versions of this thing that are color separated, ready to go, so you can focus on sharpening up your skills and not really have to worry about much else. So the link for this thing is down in the description. It's a free download for everybody you can do what you please with it, get creative, swap colors around, add colors, remove colors, do whatever you want. I'm excited to see what you guys do, but I'm gonna print one of them with you guys right now. What colors to pick for this thing? I'm gonna do the two color version of this thing because, well, we made it so I should be. I don't know what I wanna do though. You know, I'm gonna print with water-based ink because, well, I haven't done it in quite a long time and I probably should. Since we're talking about brushing up on our skills, I'll do a little bit of that myself. And actually, the perfect colors are right here in front of my face. Yeah. You probably saw it on screen that there was a blue and orange version of this thing, so we're gonna run with that. These aren't gonna be an exact match to that color combo, but these are definitely gonna look really cool together, and I really wanna use it because one of these inks I just made for fun and have never used it on anything. So we're gonna use this Nebulous Navy. That's gonna look pretty good. And then we got this orange that clearly I custom made because I riddled the whole front of it with notes to remember what I did. But I remember making this thing because I really just wanted to see how the neon boosters I had worked, and well, that orange looks pretty damn bright to me. So yeah, let's get to work. cool shirt if I say so myself. Really digging the color combos I picked on this thing. The blue probably looks black on camera. It's very dark. It's really cool looking in person though. And this random orange that I created, one little piece of advice I can give you if you're gonna make this thing a two color is that whatever your lighter color is gonna be, either the bottom or the top, in my case it was the bottom, just add a little bit of stroke to that thing, nothing crazy, just like a .25, something like that, just enough so you could trap it with whatever your darker color is. I went ahead and butt registered this thing just because I wanted to get fancy and show off a little bit, but adding that little bit of stroke is gonna help you out a ton when it comes to the registration side of things, and no one's ever gonna even notice it's there. It's so minimal that the eye can't even see it. But but if registration is something that you need to work on, 
try butt registering this thing because it's not easy. All those little sharp lines at the bottom here, it took a while to get those things dialed in clean. But yeah, I hope you guys have fun with this thing. Use it as a learning tool to sharpen up your skills, whether you're doing single color stuff, multicolor stuff, whatever you're doing, or if you just wanna make some cool shit, it's up to you. Either way, I wanna see what you guys are doing, so make sure to tag me on Instagram right here and uh, show me anything you guys have made with this because I'm interested to check it out. Again, the link for this bad boy is in the description. I also put the link to our print group in there. Feel free to join. Everybody is welcome. It's an awesome community that you will learn a ton from. Hope you guys dug this thing. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again in the next one. Oh, dude, look at that glow coming in behind me. I look fucking majestic right now. Let's get a thumbnail going here. Oh, look who's here. Everyone's been asking where you are. Say what's up, sir. No? Okay. Let's do cat dance. Ba, 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 da, ba. Oh, come on. Seriously. Come on, twice? Get your little butthole away from me. This is what it's like trying to film anything with a cat around.